Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Color and welcome to this video. Today we are talking about one of the reasons, or actually generally some reasons about why you should play uh, Age of Wu Lin slash Age of Wu Shu. Uh, these are not very different games, keep that in mind. They are quite, uh, quite similar. They are maybe one of the most similar games. They're basically the same game. I think that only difference is... Uh, that Age of Wulin is basically for European players. If you if you play Age of Wulin, you will most likely have less ping than if you play Age of Wushu. Age of Wushu's uh, headquarters are located in the US, and the headquarters of Age of Wulin are located in Germany. And uh, therefore, uh, as a European, I get less ping while playing. In this game, ping is crucial. Ping is probably the thing that is most important generally in every PvP based MRPG or generally any PvP. Ping is crucial. Um, now, now that I've said that, let's move on to um, let's move on to some other thing, other other things with the game. The game of Age of Wolin uh, is very, very, very based around uh skills like you most games have one overall skill and more RPGs they have one overall skill that you level up and these overall skill that you level up uh is basically it determines how strong you are this game however does not op operate like that age of woolen is mostly you can level up a lot of things uh let me let me give you guys an example you can level up uh, one internal skill, and you can level up. You can level up two internal skills. You can level up to four or five internal skills. You can also level up uh, these ones, of course. Uh, these are also internal skills. Both of these, I have four that I can level up. Uh, I have, I have, uh, I have leveled up most of them, not to the max, but I've leveled them up to over twenty, which is uh, which is very decent, and. Um, you can also level up your skills. Leveling up your skills makes it um, a lot, a lot stronger. Personally, I've leveled up this bloodbath. If you're a royal guard, if you guys know, this is all about the uh, the school you go. You're gonna get some certain attacks. Uh, bloodbath is an attack by royal guards, which is so fucking OP, guys. If you drag a player with this one and then do a bloodbath. You damage a lot, and as you can see, I have leveled it up to level four. I can cultivate it and level it up more, which I'm gonna do later. But the more you level up a skill, the more overpowered and stronger it is. So meaning that you can level up a lot of things on this game, uh, which is recommended, of course. Uh, let me see. I was supposed to meet a friend here. Um, I have a friend called Pure Mal, which is right beside me. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, the thing is um, that uh, let me just enter a sparring contest. Okay. Uh, let me enter a sparring contest with my friend here. Um, sparring contests are. Spy contests are basically duels from World of Warcraft, very similar. Let me now show you how these operate. Uh, as, I talk, as I talked about, the drag skill, which drags an opponent towards you, and you can do the bloodbath, which makes an opponent very, very uh, damaged. And as you can see, that was... Uh, you can also use kind of lightness skills, which allows you to move freely like this, as you can see. And you can also drag a player towards you. Uh, and you can also use parry breaks, which are basically, they, they prevent your opponent from uh, dodging and blocking your skills. Which are, that one for example, is really good for blocking uh, opponent's skills. But... The thing you need to be very, very, very careful on is how you use it. All of these skills are based on a combo. 
not on one combo, you can make your own combo, but you gotta be careful when you make this, because this game is all about combinations. The most popular combination, of course, is the drag and bloodbath one, which I've shown you guys, which I can show you guys again, which, look, he blocked this one. He blocked this one because he held in the right click. Okay, as you can see, I dragged him right now, and now I do the bloodbath, which is a very strong combo. However, if you don't do that, you can always uh, hit the 5, which makes him uh, dizzy. But right now, since he's parrying, I can do the parry break on him, and I can drag him towards me again. But since this guy's a lot stronger than me, you gotta be careful and take that into consideration as well. Um, this is just basically a quick, um, quick kind of way, kind of insight on the game. Uh, this personally is the reason, guys, the reason as to why you should play this game. Because this has an amazing, keep in mind, amazing, uh, attacking system. Personally, I think so. Um... I also think that we gotta take into consideration the fact that this is not the most popular game in the world. It has a decent amount of players. This is like a PvP hub uh, place, as you can see right here in Chengdu. Um, this place allows you to do PvP, basically spar each other, duel each other. Uh, it's a it's a very very decent um, decent place for practicing your skills. As, as I said. This is the reason you should play this game. The reason you should switch over and at least give it a try. I advise every single person to give this game at least an, a day. Try to play this for a day, not straight, but you know, give a kind of breaks, like 30 minutes, like this break, but at least try to play for a day. That's what I challenge you guys to do, just to give this game a try. Because once you get into this game, it is super fun. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I hope you guys liked it. Hit the like button if you did. Hit the subscribe button if you did. I also stream on Twitch. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.